Hi, this is Matt with abbypenny.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a natural weed killer using uh, products found around your home. There's a couple of reasons why people might want to use that versus something like Roundup. For us, uh, we have a courtyard that our girls like to play in and so we don't want to have you know, Roundup and those types of chemicals that are you know, kind of left over as residual. So if we use things like vinegar, uh, dish soap, and salt, it's a lot safer for our kids and we don't have to worry so much. So as I was showing you, um, we're just going to be using uh, just a regular white distilled vinegar, uh, just using like a store brand. This one's a 5% acidity. You really don't need anything more powerful than that. Um, a regular dish soap, it can be anything. Um, that helps uh, the, the solution stick to the plants. And then you have salt. And I'll explain you know, what these things do and how they work later. So I'm going to show you how to mix it. I'm going to be using a you know, fairly standard uh, garden sprayer um, that, you know, can be used for assorted liquids or whatnot. Uh, but uh, you can find this at, you know, your local hardware store or garden shop or anything like that. Uh, but we're just going to pour in uh, the uh, vinegar, just the one gallon of vinegar. And then I have the uh, salt uh, and uh, uh, dishwashing soap pre-measured. So we're going to use uh, one cup of table salt. And I have to stir this around and uh, have the salt dissolve. And then once the salt dissolves, I'll go ahead and add the uh, dishwashing soap. So now that the uh, salt has been mixed in with the vinegar, I'm going to pour in the liquid dish soap. And that's one tablespoon again. And that, er that acts as a surfactant. So uh, what that does is it helps the, the solution um, stick to the weeds and uh, ultimately allows the, the salt and the vinegar uh, to take effect uh, and ultimately kill the weeds. So uh, to spray it, you just want to get a nice coating on all of the weeds, uh, basically like you would with any weed killer. Uh, and uh, you know, you're going to have to give it a couple of days because uh, it will take you know, a little while before the salt and the vinegar can uh, act on the weeds and you know, get them to, to die. Uh, so we'll uh, take a look in a couple days. We'll come back out here and uh, and show you guys, you know, how it works. As a side note, uh, you can also use a sprayer like this uh, for smaller applications. Um, but I'm going to be using the larger applicator uh, because I'm doing a you know decent size area, and so it's going to be more efficient for that purpose. This is three days later. As you can see, the weeds. Uh, have pretty much all died. I should say have all died. So it's been really effective. It works really well and you know it's it's safe because again it's just vinegar, salt and the uh, dish soap. So it's a good alternative to something that's a little bit more harsh. So let's talk a little bit why this solution works. Uh, both the vinegar and the salt act to dehydrate the plant, ultimately killing it. It's taking away the, the vital hydration that the plants need, um, in this case weeds, to survive. With that said, uh, it will kill plants that you value, plants that you like. So you can't apply this to a lawn. You need to be careful in flower beds and things like that because it will kill other flowers and it will kill things that you actually want to keep around. So the best applications for driveways, sidewalks, you know, pavers, patios, that type of thing where you know, you're sort of indiscriminately killing the, the weeds that may, may have grown up in the cracks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe at the bottom of our video. You can also check out more content at abbypenny.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.